Welcome to episode 2 of my Java multiplayer tutorial series and in the last episode we went over creating a client with the new object output stream and object input stream instead of using Java NIO to make things simpler. And in this video we're going to look at uh, doing stuff with the data that we're receiving. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is create something to capture these events. So I'm going to create a new class called event listener. Go there and all we need to do in here is not override. Um create a public void received. And I'm using received to be similar to cryonet if you've ever used that. So it's kind of similar in use case. So we're gonna go if p instance of say add layer packet then and we'll create the packet later add player packet packet equals add player packet p so now we have that set up and that is all we're going to do for that right now. So if we go back to our client, we need to create this event listener. So private event listener, call a listener. And we will do, let's see, we'll do it in here. So listener equals new event listener okay so now that we have an event listener created we now are going to need to do calling or received inside here so instead of doing anything right here we're just going to go listener dot Okay, let it load up. Okay, received. And for the, the packet, we're just going to put in data. And that will pass it into here. And then we'll check what type of packet it is and create the object of the packet. So then we can do stuff after that with the data. So now that we've got that there, I think the only thing left we need to do in here and we're going to add this later is tell the server that we disconnected so remove player packet packet equals new remove player packet and oh yeah we don't have that created yet so we'll do that after we're just going to send the object and we'll send our remove player packet before closing. And now the next thing we need to do is just create our packets. So one thing we need to make sure we do is create a new package for this. Dot packets is what I'm going to call that. And we'll create add player packets packet. Okay, so now that we have our packet here, we have to make it implement serializable. Oops, implement serializable. And I must have spelled that wrong or something. No. I guess I did. Okay. And that's gonna. I'm just gonna add a default there. And this has to be added in here. So now we're gonna create the 
data that this packet holds. So we're going to have a ID string and a name. And we are going to now create another packet called the remove player packet. Cut that. And I'm just going to take this, do that, okay. and add a default. And now the only thing we're going to need for here is a public and ID. We don't need a name or anything because we just need to see what ID we're removing. So we can close those. In the event listener, we can do that. And in here, let's import these. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a quick listen for a remove layer packet. Oops. Alright. Remove player packet. Okay. Gonna import that. And now this is gonna be called every time you receive a new packet from the server. This will check if it's a add player packet or a remove player packet and you can add as many packets as you want to check for and uh, is it? oh because we're not using this okay so we're pretty much done with this client here don't have to worry about that right now and next thing I, we should create is a player to keep track of. So I'm going to call this a net player. And actually, you know, I'm not going to do that. I might do that in a future tutorial, but uh, I think it could be pretty simple just to keep track of. Um, Hmm. Okay, so yeah, we actually. I guess I have to go through this. Okay, so yeah, we'll create a net player. And all we're going to do is have a private int ID. A, no, we don't want it private. Let's just create this public. Alright. And public string name. So, now that we do that, one more thing we need to create is something to handle all the players, not package. Okay. Um, class, and we are gonna do player handler. So for this, we will create a static to a hash map, and an integer. And in that player, and this will be the list that will keep track of all the players that join that the server will tell us about, I guess, and. All we need to do now 
is an event listener. We are going to do player handler dot players dot put packet dot id and new net. Name and no packet ID and packet dot name. Public and we just need to add a constructor here that will take these in. Oops, right. So we have int id and a string name so this is dot id equals id and this dot name equals this name okay I am really out of it today <laughs> um, okay that should work now yep and now player handler dot players dot remove packet dot id and now system dot out dot print line this will tell us when another player joins the server or sorry joins the game so packet dot name plus has joined the game so that'll let us know whenever the player joins the game and now we'll do one for whenever they leave the game system dot out dot print line and we do packet dot name Oh, I guess we ought to put this up here. And we will have to do player handler players dot get id dot name. Oh, I gotta go packet id. There we go. Plus and has left the game. Has left the game. Okay. So now that we are handling packets, we got our player, and that's keeping track of our players. I think we're done with the client. Right. Yep, I believe we are done with this client now. So I think that's going to be the it for this video because I'm clearly totally out of it today. But so thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if you're enjoying my videos.